Hi guys, it's your girl here, Anita Brown. Happy New Year. Yes, it's 2024. I want to share with you guys one of the things that has kept me going all through last year and now in this new year. I promise myself I am not going to miss it. No matter how busy I am, it's called What for Today from UCB Island. Let me share with you guys. I hope it's going to bless one or two persons out there. I am not a pastor. But this keeps me going you know how we do it okay listen hello i hope you're doing great today yes today's ucb topic word for today says you are under god's protection did you hear me i said you are under god's protection our reading is from psalms 91 and verse 1 we understand what psalms 90 91 says, is about God's protection. And verse 1 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What is God telling you there? That you are protected under his shadows. Okay, let's get right into it. So 8th of January, 2024. So what is the shadow of the Almighty? In the wilderness where Israel wandered for 40 years, Temperatures could get up to 120 or 130 degrees. There was no shade except what was provided by the tents in which the people lived. So they understood this powerful metaphor under the shadow of the Almighty. If we were lost in the desert, the children of Israel were required by the law of hospitality to satisfy your need for food, water, protection from an enemy and shade from the blistering sun. It worked like this. First, you have to find out the chief shepherd's name. Then you would take hold of the cord on his tent and cry out for help. When you did that, the law of hospitality required him to take you into the safety of his tent. Indeed, that same law said, he had to protect you with his very life. Are you getting the idea now? So God's name, El Shaddai, describes two wonderful aspects of his character. El speaks of his power and strength. Shaddai literally means strong-breasted one, which refers to the gentleness of a nursing mother. Some days you will have to go to God for the strength needed to withstand the enemy's attack. Other days, you just need to go to him and let him hold you in his arms and comfort you. The poet wrote, Let me no more my comfort draw from my frail grabs on thee. In this alone rejoice with all. Thy mighty grabs of me when things get too hot for you. Run to the shadow of the Almighty. Did you get that? So what God is trying to remind us is this, that once we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, once you are living for God, once you take God serious, once you call yourself a child of God and do what he says, you have this comfort, you have this protection, you are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. You shall not be afraid of 10,000 of things that will fall by your right hand or by your left hand. He is there to protect you. So once you live for God, you have nothing to be afraid of. This in particular has kept me going. We understand what Psalm 91 says about God's protection. So we are assured, what are you afraid of today? Believe that you are under God's protection. Okay, so I am assuring you, just like God has assured both of us, that we have nothing to be afraid of. Okay, I want to thank you so much for listening. I want to thank you so much for also sharing, because I know that this might touch one person out there. Okay, and don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Island. Words for today. Thank you so much. And like I said earlier in my previous video, if you want to read the whole Bible with me this year, we've, we have already started. So it's not late for you to actually create time within your tight schedule to read these chapters. It's not just reading them. Before you read your Bible, 
ask for the spirit of discernment for God to direct you for God to teach you in his own way so for today like I said if you have missed reading the whole Bible with us please refer back to my videos my previous videos from January 1st to January 7th down below the description you will see the chapters that we've read but for today which is 8th of January we are going to read this chapter Genesis chapter 18 chapter 19 and Matthew chapter 6 from verse 1 to 15 thank you and God bless you see you next time bye <laughs>